intro. I've never been called an expert dancer before. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. You're not wearing really red, are you? Though? Well, I get criticised now because I work in Sky Sports. I can't wear blue, I can't wear, I can't wear anything. I'm always getting it wrong. I mean, that, that's, that's kind of West Ham Claret, that. Oh, go, oh, yeah. Well, after this week, <laughs> I, won't, I won't talk about Wednesday then. Uh, no, let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> um, do you cook as well as you count? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> um, I, lo I love cooking, actually. I'm, I'm, I, before I came on this, I had to check that you would let me on because there's so many things I can't <laughs> eat. So it forced me to learn to cook because there's so many ingredients that make me ill that I have to make a lot of stuff from scratch. So I, I do love cooking when I get a chance. Um, but eating is my speciality. Eating I'm rather much, than cooking. Eating, tasting, drinking what? I mean, I, I, I love <laughs> well, food. You're on the right show. Yeah. What's food heaven? Food heaven for me, prawns. Mm. The, the bigger, the better. Mm. Since well, I was a baby, I yeah. just absolutely love them. I agree, prawns. I actually prefer oh. prawns to lobster. Yeah. I'm yeah. prawns to everything. Food hell, still seafood, but I'm going for octopus. Mm. Especially the small ones, the ones where the, it's the whole body, you know, the baby <laughs> ones. I think I had a bad experience when I was younger. <laughs> uh, I absolutely loathe licorice. Most things I've grown out of not liking that I didn't like when I was a kid, but anything licorice, perno, absinthe, fennel, star anise, Anything from that horrible. Well, I've got a here, I tell you. Yeah, I've got a wacky grape and an seed and all of that. So, anyway, uh, on marinade, red chillies, and coriander crisps. Uh, sounds good. Sounds absolutely mm. amazing. Yes. Uh, I'll <laughs> leave the octopus to an extra uh, pinch of licorice powder. Why? Yeah, why, why would indeed? You do that? <laughs> if Rachel should have her food heaven <laughs> or food heaven. Adam. I mean, I had dinner there last night, didn't you? <laughs> and I almost ordered the tur. The yeah. <laughs> Good, yeah. You could powder the nori, yeah. and if you make it at home, slice it as you need it. Yeah. Actually, because you never know how long to leave it. No, I think, and I think it's very unlikely you're going to get my milk. Skirt of a fish. A skirt of an animal. It's, it's, it's basically... Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> <laughs> what percentage butter to potato? Yeah, about 50-50. <laughs> yeah. wow. It's bonkers, isn't it? It's olive oil or something like that, or... Yeah, yeah it's good absolutely. Yeah, I probably should have done <laughs> I, I do cheat a little bit, yeah. I have to I say, if there's something really now. good. It's just freshly cooked like that. Mm. On goes the... Mm. You get that Incredible. taste. Wait till you taste it. Nice wow. And this is a little bit... Mm. 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 <laughs> so that, uh, chef, is my... Mm. 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 That's what I'm here for. Right, Adam. Come and join us. You're allowed to taste as well. Yeah, I want to. Yeah. I want to. Right. Luke's fantastic. Yeah. This is actually on the menu at the moment as well at the can, restaurant. Can we go for it? Can we go? What's the protocol? Yeah, 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 just just dive in, dive in. Yeah, I'm not one of those people that, that waits for everyone else. Now the skirt is the, the little bits there on the side. Okay, so this is going to be. Go on, Tom. Yeah, please. Yeah. There you go. And that's the oyster leaf. Right, I'm going to try it. It's really nice. Yeah, they are really lovely. So is that chive? It just brings a bit of acidity to it, a bit of freshness. Good. Right, let me go. That's great. Proper, Proper cooking. Yeah. Great. Mm. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm, delicious. Good. To go with it. Mm, mm, mm. Right, it's good, this huh? is really nice. Nice breakfast. I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I say I'm not normally awake at this time, so this is the equivalent of about 4 pm for me, so this feels yeah. normal. You're with just the phone, Wayne. How many hours have you been awake? Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. It's a great match. I uh, miss good edge. I would get down the shops oh. quickly for this one, guys. I'm absolutely. It selling yeah. Out. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Really There's a lot of acidity and it works really well with a, with a cream. Well. Great one, yeah. great, great dish. Brilliant. Well yeah. done, Peter. Bang on. Yeah, so I'm going to. Okay with that. And we're going to make mayonnaise and lots of veg starter if you want to show off a good dish. For Christmas, mm. yeah. Yeah, and gluten-free croutons to go on top. Oh, thank you, you very much. <laughs> thank you, yeah. 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 Yeah, I am I'm a Liverpool fan as well, yeah. Oh, I don't know why. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> this... mm. Lovely, thanks, Rick. And he'll be back next week with uh, another festive treat. Uh, we just saw Rick putting a festive pickle with uh, and it's one of your favourites. Oh, I love pears, which is lucky, because there's so many things I can't eat, but pears for... You know, uh, I, I've, 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 but no, that's wrong. I have back to this. I want to know more about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm like you. I love, love pears. Sweet and juicy, greatish. So I think dairy's gone out the window for the day. So I'm just going to have a bad day and suffer the consequences. Vegan cheese doesn't quite cut it. Oh right. Uh, a lot of things you can replace, but vegan cheese just doesn't melt the same vegan way. Vegan cheese. Vegan cheese is made out of all kinds of nuts. Mm. You can yeah. get. Good. You can get, but not. No, you can't get vegan brie. I mean, vegan brie. And I know what it tastes like, so I know what I'm missing. So today is the day. I've had enough Let's wine. Keep drinking so that just, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Doesn't care. My food hell. Right. I'm chopping chili, uh, drizzle of olive oil, and then the um, it's all going to get baked in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. Um, right. Back to you, Rachel. How did you get into your mathematics? Um, I was 
it's just a maths geek since I was little. I just always used to enjoy puzzles. Um, so I, I like loads of things at school, you know, art and PE and, and various, but maths, applied mathematician, so I enjoy the physics of it. Modelling the, it. the well, body. No, it's interesting, <laughs> and I do, I do bang my drum to try and get kids more interested. Because, well, that, that's, that's great. You know, the stereotype is an old white guy with a beard sitting in a room by himself, but there's so Things many like interesting me. jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about me, then. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that, but it doesn't, it doesn't you. you know, not, not all, you know, children can relate to that, Michelle. Takes a yeah, while. yeah, fine, fine. But how did you get the countdown job then? Did you just, you know, was there an ad in the I heard it, my auntie heard it. Um, I just finished a maths degree, I just did four years, and then I was applying for loads of grad jobs, so it was just one. Applied for it, never thought I'd ever even hear back or that there was a job at the end of it. <laughs> I'd watched it since I was a kid. I mean, it's an institution, it's been on since... 82, um, so yeah, before I was born. it's been on for, for years. Yeah, so I just, I'd always watched it and I... That must have been an incredible interview process though. Well, I never thought I'd, I'd hear back from them at all and I went up to, um, I just thought I'd have a good story to tell because I went to ITV Studios, which had never been near a TV studio and had an interview and then they took, um, I think they had a thousand or three thousand applicants studio in Leeds, which was just like stepping into the telly. It was so weird. I'd already passed the maths test, this was just a camera test, which was a complete lie. <laughs> I bought it and it was, you know, I just managed to do the numbers under pressure. I had chilli with pears. Is that oh, the rule? Oh, delicious. Yeah. Good. Mmm. That's the perfect kind of... These or cold cuts, yeah. it is absolutely... And I love anything that you can prepare mm. and just shove in the oven. Especially at Christmas when you're entertaining. Man yes. United. <laughs> Yay! Yes! <laughs> uh, how, how did you get into it? Um, my dad is from Salford, so he's been going oh, since so he was so, nine right, years old. Okay, okay. So um, I had a Man so United baby grow before I was born. Oh, all right, yeah. Um, okay. Before anybody asked, my family's still up there. So we filmed Countdown in Salford, it was about six, seven years old. Wow. Um, and it was the glory days of Sir Alex Ferguson. I was born the same year he started, so, you know, my yeah, you're doing dream fantasy job. Fantasy football, is that right? Fantasy football and Friday night football. So this year we've got 10 Premier League games on a Friday night. Um, our next one's, I think, it's Hull versus Everton on the 30th, the last game of the year. Uh-huh. Um, and just absolutely loving it. I mean, this to be to be, to be my first is, you know, maybe four, five, six teams even that could win it potentially. It is. It is. Um, so exciting. So have we got? Quality. Are we still in with a chance of winning it? Don't be. Could get five <laughs> cups this year. I mean, it's, I think it's it's a bit tricky. I mean, I think for you know, that's the aim. If we if we get a cup, that I think we should be aiming for at least a cup somewhere. And, and, and win a couple of cups, right? Exactly. So I peeled that, as you can see. It takes a little bit of time, but it looks so much nicer. So it goes into the pan with used red wine. Or? Uh, no, I wouldn't use your, your most expensive wine, but a, a wine that's it had to be good enough to drink. Right. <laughs> right. We love spice. Just split it in half, and that means that the flavour will come out of the chip. Is that a bit... Not too, too hot. And then a bay leaf in it. This beautiful pear like. That's Absolutely what no I love. Mm. Just heating no stuff up all day. whatsoever. Now, are you still dancing? Um, occasionally, on holiday, I've got, um, um, yes, my lovely boyfriend, so, um, yeah, we do love a bit of salsa on holiday, and he's a very good lead before. I played football, netball, all the sports you play at school, um, but never done any dancing. It's, and it's tough, everybody it's, says. It's yeah, really, it's really a, tough. It's their, their absolute muscle, they're 100% muscle, these dancers, and they can just put their leg round the back of their head <laughs> without even blinking, you know, on the football pitch. Mm. Myself, of just wanting to get better and learn, and that instant... One day you know nothing, four days later you're dancing in front of 10 million people. Ooh, it's scary. No, nothing like that, you know. And are you watching the current series? I haven't watched it since Push got voted out. <laughs> and Nagger, poor old Nagger. Um, yeah. Yeah, but no, football's keeping me pretty busy at the moment, but um, yeah. yeah you and all, and all plus, all to be honest, when I hear that music and the dancing, the, it still brings the fear of life into me. <laughs> Panic. The fear of God, Ooh. absolutely. There's nothing like it, and it, it was terrifying. So you've got the lovely sweetness, sharpness, um, and spiciness of roast pears. Oh, it's been cheese. Little roasted pears as well uh, with the uh, walnuts and chilli and lemon. So there you go, have a little taste what, of what that. What to go for first, whatever, that's the whatever only... Whatever you wish, whatever it would. Actually, a, a really a sweet wine with blue cheese and the pear would be a, a marriage made in heaven. Yeah, lovely. It's delicious. You just can't go wrong with it really nicely in there. a bit of there, you should get the lemon, the honey and a little kick of the chilli in that one. Okay. And I don't peel that one because actually when it's baked like that, roasted, you can eat mm. it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. yeah. Especially the lemon zest. The lemon zest brings mm. great freshness to it, doesn't it? Rachel, at the end of the show, mm. octopus. Uh, I'll leave the octopus tentacles whole. No, thank you. You were right about the blue cheese, though. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's delicious. Rachel, I need to tell hey. you. Oh, terrible, terrible. <laughs> Fastest omelette. It's at her food heaven. Grilled tiger prawns. Or 
We'll find out at the end of the show. <laughs> no, but great one. Yeah. And this one is. Yeah. We can just <laughs> eat. Listen. Really? Have you never, never ever had never venison? tried? Is it? Is it more? Is it beefy? Or? Really love it. I think it's a great cut. But it's. <laughs> no, but you know, people sometimes are. Very so, little fat in it as well, Tom. Yeah, it's very, very little fat. Yeah. Very good for you, yeah. Yeah, we don't eat enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, Poor boy. Gauss fans. Yeah, big time, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather like my boxing day. Yeah. Oh, really? So uh, there we go. So, yeah, it's um, clean. You know, so <laughs> we, we have to clean. Leave it slow, <laughs> On the menu in one of the restaurants or not? Yeah. Is it on? Something like in a park. There we have. I think you are going to be pleasantly okay. surprised. I'm going to try venison for the first time. Yeah, venison for the first time. Fantastic. Big moment. Let's have a go. Yeah. All about Go on, Adam, get in there. the okay, texture, sure. isn't it, Jeff? That's what you... Texture. I love the croutons folded through it. I think that's fantastic. Mm. Yeah, croutons give a lovely... Yeah. So first time for mm. venison, and you're going for it raw. Mm. Mm. You're brave. And cook for I a little I love tartar, and I love... <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's the risky thing, isn't it? <laughs> it is in, it's got more of an earthy taste. It's just, mm. It is distinctive. Yeah, it is good. Well done. It doesn't taste like anything... But well, the hazelnut mayonnaise anything. is really interesting. I think that's it's probably delicious. Absolutely lovely. Lovely texture of the apple the as well. Lovely the lovely the veg apple. being that size, you get that crunch all the way through it. I think it's absolutely lovely. Yeah. That's the thing. Very often, uh, tartare, it's minced. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Dish. I think that's yeah. a winner. Right. Really nice. Lovely. Mm. Mm. My kind of red. Yeah, Your kind of red. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Mm. I think the white and the red, both fantastic. Yeah, well it's done. really good. Yeah, so it's a good match. Very I, happy I, with I, that. I think so. Light, fruity. Got that sort of gamay. Morgan, but Southern but, uh, Burger. Peter's definitely done it there. Yeah. Yeah. Say that a couple of legs of venison. Oh. Oh. Too dear. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like listening. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No. Hey, it wasn't. It's it wasn't here. me. Yeah. <laughs> Dearing me, God. Oh. <laughs> He's very much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fantastic. I would like to. Um, no. Wow. Oh, well. That's it. It's delicious. It's that so one? simple. We didn't have enough ovens. <laughs> so I wasn't brave yeah. enough, but. But well, it's so important there. Patties. Yeah. I mean, it is the ultimate Sunday Fantastic. roast. Um, go for it. Fatty bit in the crust is, is as it yeah. renders down. Yeah. Heaven or hell? Oh, it has to be heaven. Oh, oh yeah. thank you very much. Mm. All right. I just yeah. got a whiff of aniseed a minute ago. <laughs> oh, I have. I've got uh, Mark Barnforth is saying, having never tasted pheasant or partridge, I've bought one of each from my local butcher. Any recipes for a beginner? Mm. Pheasant, partridge? Mm. Tie it up, roast it through. I think that's one of the best ways to, to eat yeah, the partridge. Basically, mm, yeah. let it rest a long time. No, actually, put some garlic butter. Sweet, I think you've got Yes, there. Amanda Mitchell uh, wants to know all your favourite stuffing recipes. Oh, it's good. Ooh, just, um, <laughs> Below the belt. <laughs> Below the belt. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Weird sage. Uh, Mm. Really lovely. Yeah. All right, you, Tom? Yeah, if you're at home, get some good quality sausage, pistachio, mm. some sage, and then you've got your own... So much exactly. Easier. Uh, I, I like putting them, fold that into your stuffing as well. Yeah. Oh, how to cook a delicious uh, lamb. Down a shoulder. Mm -hmm. A little bit of star aniseed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <isn't so> <laughs> fine. Um, some spice. You've got an adventurous grandma. So I don't really think my grandma <laughs> would. Yeah. Yeah. She's it's from great. Salford. She's just... mint sauce. <laughs> Jacob. Right, what's it going to be? Heaven yeah. or hell? Uh, heaven, please. Oh, oh heaven. thank you very much. Oh. Good luck with your grandma. Ooh, thank you. Just come out limp and soggy. Perfect, because the parsnip is already sweet. I like to put too much honey or anything like that. Honey and a star mm. anise and, and maybe okay. blanch the parsnip beforehand. Blanch it yes, quick. When, if you're going to put, if you judge it by when you put your roast potatoes in, when do you put your parsnips in? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Done. But all butter. Mm, lovely. Actually quite nice as well. Fur roasted, but you could also do yeah. some crushed parsnips. Yeah. No, you can have that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven or hell for you? Oh, definitely heaven. Oh, oh. Is, that, is that three? Is that a hat trick? I think Omelet challenge, uh, oh, chefs. Yeah. Come on, let's make our way over here. Oh. Right. Omelet or scrambled egg? <laughs> Who's <laughs> tasting this? Oh, my word. <laughs> See, very good. I'm you guys will remember this one. It does no. smell like omelet, no. Right. And tiger prawns uh, or hell. Thanks, Tom. I might give them a go tomorrow. Proper lush. Right. <laughs> time to yeah. Right. Time to find out whether Rachel is giving her food heaven or food hell. Uh, for food heaven, I'll marinate. We're going to do a, an onion puree, sweet onion puree. Oh, uh, absolutely yeah, love cucumber. cucumber. And a cucumber dressing. Uh, for hell, this. How can you not like this? Yeah. <laughs> I just. I'm sure you cook it beautifully. It is. Oh. But the texture just. Do you think I would get it? I, don't, I know you wouldn't get it. Right. <laughs> but prawns, I mean prawns. I don't prawns. Think I'm slow today. Be nice to it. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Octopus. Mm, uh, all right. If so, you're cooking uh, it, maybe. Cook the octopus with celeriac, licorice, 
which you hate to. Yep. Licorice and dressing licorice and a bit more licorice powder on top. Oh, sounds yeah. beautiful. Well, Even the smell of licorice, mm. it's just... Do you have a little whiff of licorice? Mmm. It's just horrible. <laughs> it's just who would, why would people yeah. voluntarily eat that? Well, maybe we'll put a little bit of licorice on the prawns because um, <laughs> yeah. it was never in doubt. Yes. Never in doubt. It was um, 3 0, but. Uh, uh, Adam, prawns. So that's what yeah. we mean. It's a little fantastic. <laughs> <fantasy, laughs> so yeah. It's a 4 doubt. 1 win to Unite. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely prawns. So we'll, let's, let's get rid of this lovely octopus. Goodbye, octopus. Goodbye, Anna yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Get rid of the octopus. Come here, you. What a beauty that is. Are you sure? You don't want to change your mind? No, you can, you can keep that. Mother Maybe not. Maybe not. So, it's tiger prawns. Option. I'm going to peel these tiger prawns first okay. of all. Uh, gentlemen, I need the uh, cucumber peeled. Uh, some of the cucumber trim is going to go in to make some cucumber juice, yep. which will be the base. Uh, balsamic vinegar and some oil. Okay. Uh, onions baked in the oven until it just concentrates the sweetness with a bit of thyme and oil and salt. Get cracking on that, and Beautiful. I'm peeling these prawns. So, I'll just stand and watch. Lovely. We're yeah. gonna this, actually this cook the cucumber, are we? Uh, yeah, I'm going to pan fry the. Absolutely. Goes with everything. Delicious. Have you ever had cucumber as a vegetable cooked? Um, no. Marrow is the worst. Marrow. Yeah. Well, That's marrow. Nice. You peel the prawns. I like to leave the uh, the end bit, the shell at the end, and then devein them. Uh, so just pull them out like so. I just wrap these on my shelf. Just baked in the oven, so it just intensifies the flavour of the onion. How long do they take in there like that? How long, how long does onions take, chef? Big bum. How long do the onions take like that? Uh, the onions five minutes. Um, so you, really, you can't overcook them. They, they just yeah. soft. Oh, we're just with anything. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I could just quite happily eat a punnet of prawns. Just, that's it. That's all I need. That's it. So just them out of the fridge. Cucumbers and prawns. It's delicious. A prawn sandwich. Especially the big one. Oh, oh, a prawn sandwich. Roy Keane would be. <laughs> I got it in there before you. Before the yeah. yeah. prawn cocktail. Oh, I mean, that's the '80s classic, but I could still eat prawns. That's what cocktail. I have for my Christmas dinner every year. Love it's it. Really wow. turkey soup. Before we have turkey and bacon yeah. and turkey soup, there's a bit of a mishmash in my oh, house. There we go. Look at this, Rachel. The onion, the onions. Oh, what does that smell like? That smells. <laughs> the garlic's missing. <laughs> the garlic is missing. So a little bit of um, grated <laughs> lemon zest. This is terrible. Oh. Very generous of you to let me on the show this time of year. Yeah. So a little bit of um, paprika. It's quite so often when you're buying prawns, salt. they're frozen, aren't they? Does it make any difference when you... Um, no, you can get very good. I'm going for raw frozen rather than cooked frozen. Yes, okay. absolutely. Absolutely. Seeds, the pulp. <laughs> Lovely green, healthy juice, which we're going to use for the dressing. Making it as their own. Ouch. In as well. Yeah, I'm all over that. Sit at the bottom of and the boys are sitting uh, and having a beer. We've well, got so. three chefs here cooking for you. I know, it's, it's very modern, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd marinate. Right. That's it, all you need is prawns, a couple of them. I think so, just a bit lovely, chilly, bit delicious prawns. You know, That's the flavour. Of the Mm? Really? I would have quite liked that. I cooked together actually earlier in the summer in a, in a little... Um... Loud to cook up first. There we go. Did you and cook them through? cooked enough. No, I don't want to cook them through. I want to keep them still raw oh, in the middle. Too. So you've got that. Yeah, nice. These take only a robbery and chew. And how do you know? What's Looking the test good? apart from yeah. eating? Make a bump. What's the test apart from eating them? Um, I think if you look at... You look at if, to see if they're translucent. Where's this chilli going, Chef? Here in the pan. There's other one. I'm looking forward to this. And then this dressing, just a talk. lovely <laughs> cucumber juice, and then Dijon mustard and oil. Frying. This is an unusual warmth of the chili, but it's not too aggressive. Right. So, if you're going to put this on a map of where this is kind of originated from. Um, uh, gosh. That, cucumber that's chili good prawns. Yeah, yeah that, that is difficult. I, I'm not sure where where this this recipe. Fusion. I'm sure you're going to like it. <laughs> At least I hope so. Right. This is the world travellers prawns. We've got cucumbers, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and the texture is going to be fantastic too. Right, a little chili. I'll just drain that. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just so simple, but you can just smell all those individual flavours. There we go. Yeah, those Together. Nice. Right. So what's in Cucumber dressing is, yeah, the cucumber juice, um, a little bit of balsamic, olive oil, and Dijon mustard. Oh, the smell of that. The fried chili, like so. And then we have our dressing. Wing as well, you've got that lovely Against cool the chili. cucumber. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. So you've got hot. For a chef. And, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. and then. 
mandarins and a little meal. bit of paprika there. Right, that is it. Rachel, dive okay. into that. Straight away. A finest nice. comes from Tesco. Mm. Yeah. With that yeah. sauce, really delicious. Very good. Well, the, the, the I mean, chili has got a little kick to it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's going to be on my menu. The way <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, and the wine is bang on, I think. Thank you so much. Studio chefs Tom Kitchen Cheers. and Adam Byer and Cheers. the brilliant Rachel Riley. Bye for now. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.